you have to change your belief system about yourself. When you begin to change your belief system, you start talking different. And how do you know you start believing different? Because you won't let that person talk to you like that no more. <laughs> All right, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother subject. Hey Amen. I was, I, I like Madea and, 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 and I think it was during the Madea family reunion or whatever. Uh, she said, it's not by what people call you that matters, but it's by what you answer to. I thought that was a very true and profound statement. Amen. But your marriages, your relationships, whatever relationship they are, sibling relationship, parent child relationship, friend relationship will never be better than the words that you speak. We have to stop speaking death. Are you listening to me? Because there's power in your tongue. Stop speaking death and start speaking life. Hallelujah. Is anybody understanding this? Don't speak death. Speak life. Amen. You need to tell yourself, I love my wife. She's so beautiful to me. I never cheat on her. There's no other woman on earth that compares to my wife. No other woman can satisfy me the way she can. Come on, you need to start speaking that thing. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said your words will frame your world. Mm-hmm. But when you say the opposite, Mm-hmm. I'm just going to leave that right there. But when you say the opposite and you start speaking words like divorce, watch what happens. Mm-hmm. Come on. You need to start speaking over your husband. Even while he's not in church. My husband is a man of God. He studied to show himself approved unto God. A workman that need not be ashamed, but knowing how to rightly divide the word of truth. See, so many times we speak to the faults and never speaks to the potential. <laughs> we want things to change. We think things change. We think that our spouses and things change because of our murmuring and complaining, because we're pointing out their faults. And we we listen, we know we lazy. <laughs> Come on now. You need to start saying, man, my husband pick up after himself. <laughs> yeah, baby, my husband pick up after himself. Come on, start calling those things which be not as though they were. Amen. Start speaking life. Start speaking. <laughs> and watch things begin to change. Because this is an important principle, guys. This is an important principle. We as believers, we spend way too much time we spend way too much words speaking to things as they are. Let me, let me, let me um, give you this truth. And, and I try to get out your hair. But let me give you this truth. Facts. Talk about facts. We live in a world of facts. Right? There is a fact that I may be hurting in my body. There, it, it is a fact that my husband ain't doing what he's supposed to be doing or my wife is not doing what they're supposed to be doing. It's a fact. But truth supersedes fact. Right? It may be a fact that right now today I'm depressed. It's a fact. I'm having trouble getting up. I don't want to see nobody. I don't want to don't call me, don't talk to me. It's a fact that I'm depressed. But the truth of God's word turns facts around. Does that make sense? So the fact changes because I put God's word on it. Because God says, I am a God that I cannot lie. If I said it, it shall come to pass. He's a God that called those things which be not as though they were. So I may not be 
all joyful right now and have the spirit of the Lord upon me right now to where I'm overcome my depression but if I get up in the morning and I say I sure feel good today I sure have the blessings of God upon my life today if you begin to speak it then you shall have it the problem is what do we say now, I don't feel like getting up out of this bed I'm tired of my body I'm sick is anybody getting anything? Now, those are facts. I ain't telling you don't lie to you. Don't lie to yourself. Those are facts. Amen. Amen. See, faith does not, say, does not say that I ignore the facts. Faith just says I believe the truth of God's word is going to turn the facts around. Does that make sense? So if I'm sitting here coughing and snot coming all out my nose, I ain't going to sit here and say I ain't sick. Amen. Well, you with your no six self, go sit over there in the corner and, 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 and don't call for nobody. Just sit there and just because the fact is you're sick. But through the stripes of Jesus Christ, I am healed. And as I begin to release and speak that word, it will change the fact. Next week, I ain't going to be coughing. Do you understand that? I'm talking about the power of your words. You need to know there's power in your words. If you want to change your children, stop telling you, stop telling people your child bad. Man, my child is so bad, always getting in trouble. My child have ADD. That's why he can't pay attention. All right, I'm going to leave. Okay, all right. That's power in your words. Say more positive things over your marriage. Say more positive things over your children. Say more positive things over your situation than you say negative. Is anybody listening to me this morning? Because in order for you to release the Holy Ghost power in your life, you have to say what God has said. And then you have what God say you should have. Amen. Your finances. Stop speaking death over your finances. Amen. Over, you know, you, 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 because you're never going to be better than the words that you speak. So if you say, I'm poor, I'm always going to be poor, you know what I mean? I'm always, you know, that's what you're going to have. You need to start looking in the mirror and say, I'm wealthy, man. All my bills are paid. Listen, I owe nothing to no man. I'm a lender and not the borrower. <laughs> Amen. Need a promotion on your job? Begin to say, I'm the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath. You need to start letting your words frame your life. Begin to say, you know, you, you know, we know, you know, hallelujah. We know we have eating issues. And most of the time we have eating issues, we say, I, I just can't stop eating. I, I just can't. I'm, I'm hungry all the time. No, begin to change your word. Begin to say, I'm not hungry. Come on, say that. Say, I'm not hungry. <laughs> Boy, that was a low. That was my... <laughs> Boy, I start talking about that food. People start murmuring. <laughs> say, I was, I was with you, Pastor. I was, I was with you. <laughs> I was, I was with you, Pastor. <laughs> Amen. Come on, sometimes you need to tell yourself that. You know how you be snacking and eating all the time and you know what I mean? You need to tell yourself, I ain't hungry. Come on, I don't like that no more. Come on, say, I don't like fried chicken. Come on, come on. <laughs> fried chicken <laughs> I don't like fat backs in my collard greens no more come on come on you need to start saying it <laughs> because listen listen this principle guys seems like it's so hard but I'm telling you it's not you have to I don't listen if you're still 
eating like that. Just continue to tell yourself, I don't like that. And watch what happens. I started to tell myself when I first dealt with my, uh, I got diagnosed with diabetes and had to change a lot of my eating habits. Lord, I had to change a lot of my eating habits. Uh, but I begin to tell myself, I'm not really beginning to speak it. People say, do you want some, some, no, I don't eat that no more. You know, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no, I don't, I don't eat that no more. Do you want some? No, no. It was confession of my mouth. And now I don't even want it. it it's not even an issue anymore. I don't even want it. I don't eat white rice anymore. And now I can't stand white rice. See, y'all getting quiet. Let me move off the food. Y'all getting quiet on me this morning. But the bottom line is, yeah, yeah, you're with me to a certain point. God, I should have had a deliverance line for food this morning. Hallelujah. I should have, I should have had altar call for food today. Hallelujah. But no, no, no. But listen, though, this is, this is so important, guys. This is, this is, 